Chapter 11 of Numbers Well, 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 the people started bitching before the Lord, so he sent fire to the camp. Help! Moses asked the Lord to settle down, and he did. So they called the place Taburah, to burn, because the Lord gets pissed off sometimes. The riffraff got a gluttonous craving. We want some fucking meat. In Egypt we had fish, cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions, and garlic. We eat only fucking manna. Now manna was like coriander seed. You can boil it, grind it, and make bread. Or something like bread, only yuckier. The chiefs told the weeping story to Moses, and it distressed him and pissed the Lord right off. Moses said, I didn't make these people. Why must I be pestered by them? They eat meat on holidays. That's enough. I can't take all this fucking pressure. Just fucking kill me and put me out of my misery. So the Lord made a council to make Moses' job easier. The Lord gave them special power, like talking gibberish and making proclamations. Tell the people to purify themselves, for tomorrow they will eat meat. Say you whined long enough. We know Egypt was a fine place, but I am the Lord and will drop so much fucking meat on your sorry mother, on you sorry motherfuckers, it will be coming out your noses. Why the fuck did we leave Egypt? They kicked us out, remember? Moses goes to the Lord and says, Where the hell are we going to get so much meat? Could enough herds, flocks, or oceans of fish be enough to satisfy them? You forgot who you are talking to. So the Lord blows quail from the sea and piles them two cubics, about a meter, high, on the ground. Sea quail. They ate quail, rotten quail, after a few weeks, in the hot sun until a plague broke out and killed the protein-starved slaves. So they named the place Kibroth, Hitavan Hitava, to remind poor people not to want meat. Then they went to Hazaroth.